Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, I was about to say a makeup tutorial, no. Today I have my favourite brush tag video. Somebody asked in a recent video of mine if I can do the tag and I mentioned it in another video and loads of you guys were like, yes. So I decided that I was going to do it. I haven't watched anybody else's but what I've done is chose like one brush from each part of my makeup part, like one foundation, one blush, one highlight kind of thing. Um, and I thought that I would show you guys my ride or dies. Like these are the ones that at the moment, currently, I could not cope without. And I, if I didn't have these in my collection, I would probably cry. Um, so I thought I'd share them with you guys. And if you guys are interested in seeing what my favorite ones are, then please keep watching. So I will do them in order as I do my makeup. The first one is going to be my eyebrow brush. Now this is the Anastasia, I think number 12 brush. It's a duo ended brush. One side is angled for your eyebrows and then the other side is a spoolie. I will be honest, I don't like the spoolie. The spoolie is very hard um, and quite harsh on my eyes. I use a different spoolie, but the angled brush is amazing. Now. I will say, before I bought this brush, I used to use a H&M angled brush and I was like, oh, it doesn't really matter what brand you use, like an angled brush is an angled brush. I was wrong. Till I found this brush, I did feel like all angled brushes were the same. However, this one is a lot more firmer. The H&M one that I used to use was quite flimsy, so when I would do my brows, the brush would bend a lot easier um, and the brows wouldn't be as precise. But now with this brush, it is super precise because it hardly bends, it's very firm. I will say that that's the same how I feel about MAC angled brushes, they are quite flimsy as well. Some people like that, some people don't. I personally don't. I feel like this would be great for gel liner as well. I wouldn't be able to use the MAC one for gel liner for the same reason. I'm not really a fan of flimsy brushes when I need something precise. So this is my first favourite brush and I don't think this will ever change unless another brand come out with a super firm brush, but this so far is my favorite so then going into foundation I don't have a brush I have a beauty blender I will be honest before I bought my beauty blender I was a ride or die for a flat top kabuki brush which looks just like this it is literally just a flat top kabuki brush I will say that these are still brush wise these still are my favorite brushes for foundation however my beauty blender has come in and just taken place of this I can't even I feel weird when I use a brush for foundation. I love beauty blenders. I have used the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I've used a beauty blender from H&M and one from New Look, I wanna say. And I've used the MAC one and nothing, nothing that I've personally tried and how I personally feel has ever come close to the original beauty blender. I have eight of these. That should show you guys how much I love them. They are pricey, they are £15 I think from Selfridges um, and I think they're £15 from like Beauty Bay as well or Cool Beauty, whichever one stocks them. They are expensive for a sponge but I've never had to get rid of any of these. They burn out makeup so flawlessly and so easily and it just looks amazing. I am really, really tempted to get the Morphe one because I've seen Jacqueline Hill just rave about it. So if Beauty Bay or whoever does Morphe gets the beauty sponge, I may try it and tell you guys how I feel. But for now, the original Beauty Blender is it's my ride or die. I love this little this little sponge. To buff out cream contour, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I feel this is my current favorite, but I feel like it's not my favorite. I feel like there is a brush out there that would be better. I just don't have it, I don't know what it could be. But for the ones that I do have, this is my favorite. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It is just a bit more defined rather than a round and it's a bit more narrow so it's really good just to buff out cream contour. Like I said, I don't think that this is the best brush out there for cream contour, but I haven't come across any others if that makes sense. I see a lot of people using damp beauty blenders to buff out their contour and I'm just like, I can't do that. I feel like it's really weird. So I have to use a brush, um, but I don't know. I just, I feel like there is a better alternative. I just don't know what it is. If any of you guys do use cream contour, then please let me know what you use to buff it out because I'm always in the mood for shopping. Come on, let's just be real. Like if you guys suggest something, I will buy it because I want to buy things. Um, but if you guys do suggest anything, then please do let me know. To set my face, this is the EXO Beauty Bronzer Brush. I haven't used this brush in a tutorial for a while because I have been trying to venture out and find another brush that I like. Um, and I've been using the Mr. Fa Mr. Race? No. <laughs> the Too Faced Mr. Right brush because I was getting really repetitive with my tutorials. Um, but this is my all time favorite. I do love this brush so much. It is so, 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 so soft on the face. You can just like pounce it and it doesn't feel harsh. It doesn't feel like it's attacking my skin, which a lot of brushes 
brushes I find do feel like that. So this one is probably my favourite ones out of them all. Like I said, I am using the Too Faced Mr. Right brush currently, just because I want to give this one a break because I feel like you guys might be getting a bit bored. As I have used a lot of these brushes continuously, I thought I'd switch up one that I can switch up. But of all time, this one would be my favourite. I have got and I have used the Real Techniques Massive one. Let me find it. This one here, this is the Real Techniques powder brush. I'm going to be honest, this kills my skin. I don't know why, but this one is so much more harsher and whenever I use it, my skin just feels irritated and it feels like it's just being attacked, whereas when I use this, it's so, 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 so soft. So I do prefer like rounder ones. The Too Faced Mr. Right one is currently drying, so I can't show you, but it's a bit more tapered. It's like a tulip, um, which is like you have to like pat on the side, whereas this one you can just go in and be like, meh, meh, meh. Um, but like I said, this one hurts me a bit too much, so I I really really do love this and this is the EXO Beauty bronzer brush. To set my concealer and my highlight, I really don't think that any of you guys will be surprised at this brush. This is the Sephora number no. 79 brush. Sorry, it's currently drying and it's drying in a weird shape so I'm trying to play with it. This is the Sephora number no. 79 brush. This brush Sephora brushes are expensive. I'm just going to throw that out there. Sephora brushes are a lot more expensive than where I thought they would be. So this was a bit more pricey than I, I would desire. However, I would spend that money in a heartbeat again to get this brush. There is no brush that I have found that is even remotely close to how I feel about this brush. This brush is able to pack on a lot of powder, as you guys would see when I use my MAC Loose Foundation Powder in Extra Light. Um, I can pack it on a lot or I can do a little. It blends out like a dream. You can really get in the corners there and under the contour there, chin, everywhere you need to. I think it's perfect size. This is probably... I'm gonna say my second favourite brush in my whole collection, like not my second favourite under eye setting, my second favourite brush in my whole collection. You guys will see my first favourite brush in a bit. Um, I, I, I won't be able to live without this now that I have it. If someone took this away from me, I wouldn't bother setting my under eyes, I wouldn't bother playing with makeup, I would just quit, quit, quit. For my bronzer brush, I kind of, it was a bit hard, it was a bit easy, it was hard because I have so many that I love and such a big collection but it was easy because I knew which one straight away but it was also hard because I didn't want to admit it but then it was easy because I just it's just amazing. This is a MAC 135 brush. I have a very large amount of bronzer brushes in my opinion. Probably not but in my opinion there is. I've got like six or seven um, and out of all of them this is my favourite. This is a more tapered as you guys can see again it's quite narrow it's long hair and it is just incredible i i don't know what it is about this bronzer brush it's just a game changer for me i can't stress i can't even explain why i love it but i just do it's amazing because you can go like that and buff it round and it can give you a sharp contour kind of look and then buff it round to make it a bit more bronzery i just it's so flimsy and it feels like there's not a lot of hairs which is quite good for bronzers for me personally because it means you're not packing on a lot. I can't explain my love for this brush because I just feel like a mad woman when I talk about it but I really 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 do love this brush. I think this is an amazing brush for bronzer and it's my favourite of all time. I do even have more expensive brushes. I have the Marc Jacobs massive bronzer brush. I have the Tom Ford bronzer brush and this one beats all of them and that Tom Ford bronzer brush was £80. So... I know MAC is expensive, but in comparison to Tom Ford, I mean, it looks like a drugstore product. To contour with, I am actually quite surprised at which brush I chose. I thought I would choose the NARS Eater brush, which don't get me wrong, I think it's an amazing contour brush, especially for beginners. It's so incredible. It's like foolproof, honestly, God. And the things I had to do to get that brush, we don't even, I just, not today. Um, I thought I would choose that one, but I actually chose my MAC one, and this is the MAC we're just gonna say 168. I would leave all the names down below because most of them are just rubbed off because I use them so much. That's how you know that I love them. An angled tilted brush. It's a bit tapered as you guys can see that's there. I think mine's just drying still so it's gone a bit fluffy. I love this brush for a few reasons. The first reason is for beginners or people who just want a harsh, harsh, harsh contour, dip the longest part of the brush, which is this bit here, so just the tip of it into your contour and then go where you want to contour so that the rest of the brush doesn't have anything on there. When you've got that line, go in with the bottom bit of it and just buff it out. 
that's going to be give you a nice harsh contour and then you're going to be able to buff it out it's great for beginners because you're going to map out where your contour is as well however i have gone for lately a softer contour i don't know if you guys have been able to tell a few few of you have commented on it and said you prefer it i do too thank you um i just go in and dab just the bum of it and i take it this is coming into like a really in-depth how I do my makeup more than like my favourite brushes. I take it and I start there and I just go in little circular motions like so. But this brush is able to give you a harsh and a soft contour. My favourite highlight brush is going to be the Anastasia A23 brush. I, again, don't think I found my favourite highlight brush. I think there's still a highlight brush out there that I haven't met yet and I haven't come across but until then my Anastasia A23 will be my favourite this again is a bit more tapered again it has been washed so it's a bit more fluffier um, and it's quite flat so I like just to tap it and then just wipe it I don't really ever go like that unless it's my cupid bow to my nose and that but on the cheeks I like just to flat it and spread it out like that um, yeah I like it but I don't know if it's my favourite of all time because I don't know if I've met my favourite of all time yet it sounds like a love story. I don't know if I've met Mr. Right yet. But yeah. So for eyeshadow, I have three brushes because they all act in different ways. This brush is my favourite brush of all time. This is my number one favourite brush ever. Ever, ever, ever. It is from Primark. I got it nearly three years ago now. Jesus. It used to have gems down it, but they started to flake away and then they all got annoying, so I took them all off. Um, and it is just a large fluffy blending brush. I don't know how else to explain it. It is incredible. It is massive, so for your first transition shade, it's just gonna wipe it all over. This and Peach Smoothie are like my life. I am obsessed. It just looks so gorgeous together. I know that Morphe do big ones, Sigma do big ones. I don't have any of them, and I don't feel like right now I need them because I have this. The head has come off previously when I was washing it, and I literally just stood there and I was like, please don't die please and i super glued it back on straight away and i was like i won't ever mistreat you ever again please stay with me for the rest of your life i i can't i can't i love this brush it's my favorite brush of all time any large fluffy blending brush i'm sure will do the job but for me it is going to be this one and the fact that it's from primark i mean come on come on can you go wrong the next eyeshadow brush is my zoeva 221 looks off crease brush you guys know my love for this i don't think there's been one tutorial i've done without it maybe there is but not many um, this is amazing again for transition shades and for colour shades. I use this non stop for literally anything. I gave away five of these. Did I have five giveaway winners or four? I think I gave four, five? Can't remember. But I gave all my giveaway winners one of these because I'm obsessed with them. I think they're just incredible. You can make them tapered, you can make them fatter. It's just the most incredible blending brush I've ever come across and it's affordable as well it's a Zoeva brush you can get Zoeva on Beauty Bay or Salvages and I don't know anywhere else but those were places that I usually get them from and this is a Zoeva 221 Lux Soft Crease brush and the final brush and the final eyeshadow brush is a MAC 242 brush and this is just a flat eyeshadow brush um, and this is great for packing on pigments, lid colour, glitters, anything like that that you just want to pack onto the eye this is a great brush for because it's quite thin, it's flat, it's just going to go and just pile on top. I have got a few others that are like no brands that I got from like bulk sets, like 24 pack um, sets from Amazon or something that just don't work the way that this does. I'm obsessed with this brush. I have like six of these because that's how often I use glitters and pigments. You guys know if you're familiar with my channel, you know how often we use pigments and glitters here. Um, but I think this is an incredible brush and I know it's MAC, I know it's a bit more expensive. I do get hesitant about buying these because they are expensive, but like I said, I have six so it must reap me in somehow. And that is my final favorite brush. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would love to know your favorite brushes because like I said in the beginning, that means that I can buy more. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, then give it a thumbs up. If there are any other tag videos or specific videos you guys want me to do, then please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.